Yo, 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 what's going on? It's Surreal Hall of Fame, D-Line, TBKC, and all that sweet, beautiful, wonderful shit. Um, question asked, and I forgot who asked it, apologies. But um, the micro, I'm going to tell y'all like this. When it comes to the micro, it's not a bully. Uh, where did it come from? How did they make it? The micro is vaguely, um, and I do mean that, very vaguely related to the American bully. Um, most micros, just being real with y'all, are Pugs and Boston Terrier type mixes. Um, like I say, most micros aren't even Frenchie mixes. A lot of those guys went straight down to the, uh, like I say, to the Boston Terriers and the uh, Pugs. And, you know, they made those dogs out of there. Um, I've judged micros a couple times. Excuse me. And, um, I mean, you can definitely see the pug type features, um, the classes. And before, look, look, I I'm going to tell you guys this. Before y'all call me with your bullshit and get to talking about, oh, man, but my micro is this. Look, every time we do a post, right, if we name a large group of dogs, say an XL or a micro or a pocket or a standard and we talk about some of the issues we are not saying every single damn dog in that uh you know uh class or breed or whatever you want to call it has the problems so by you people picking out your one dog out of 10 15 20 30 40 thousand uh, for, uh 40 thousand dogs and saying oh mine's is he doesn't have breeding problems for the most part micros have breathing problems for the most part, micros have some issues with their rear ends and their rear end assemblies. Uh, I really don't have the explanation as to why, but I've seen now probably a couple hundred micros. And that's a that's a trend that I noticed that there's always seems to be uh, a lot of rear end issues, you know. Now, uh, I'm not a pug specialist or a uh, Boston Terrier specialist, so I don't know exactly if they're known for having uh rear end problems but maybe it could be the the, the blend of it you know honestly uh and, I, and i'm not trying to insult anybody if you breed micros or whatever do your thing you ain't got to listen to me but at the end of the day when it comes to micros to me the micro is sort of a joke you know what i mean it's, it's a novelty dog it's a cool little dog that if they want to try to do what they can do with it and if they can make it healthy all right, but to be taken seriously as being a part of the American Bully family, the micro is, for the most part, it, to me, it seemed like the answer to people who didn't want to hear about uh, clean American bullies, you know what I mean? Uh, so, with that being said, you know what I mean? When it comes to the micro, uh, the micro should never be bred to the pocket. It, you know, and, I, and I'm being very serious about this. The micro itself, if you're breeding micros and pockets, you're really doing all kind of fucked up stuff because they're two really totally different breeds of dogs. You know, it's almost like when you would compare the Doberman to the men pen. You know, the men pen is not a Doberman at all. They just have that little look. So as we go through this, you know, you have to understand that these are two totally different dogs. It has no real relevance to the American bully world. Like I say, it's closer to the exotic world. Uh, it's something that they made up maybe what a decade ago or whatever and they've been trying to push it And it's just another one of those things where people throw something out there because you know, we were going for small So, you know, we went from uh, standard To pocket to super pocket to micro, you know what I mean? <laughs> and the shorter it got, you know uh, I've even seen people brag about an eight inch dog now. I mean eight inches you know, I, I don't even know Frenchies this eight inches, but um, this is what they're doing now, you know, but uh, I do want to clear that up that the micro itself is not and does not have anything to do with the American bully. Uh, you know, they attach, just like everything else, they attach their name onto the American bully community because our community accepts everything and anything, you know, pretty soon they'll have, you know, super micro where the dog is just sliding around on his belly like some kind of snake or some shit i don't know but yeah it has no relevance it wasn't put together by the american bully uh the true american bully community you had some pretty much exotic breeders who decided to mix in like i say it was pugs and boston terriers that's how they got them that small and uh there you have it you know so um not the healthiest of dogs 
Definitely not its own breed. Needs a lot of work. That's what it is. Hate to be negative about it, but I don't have a lot of great things to say about micros. But one thing I will say is if you ask me, have I seen a few that I like, then I'll give that credit. I have seen a few that were very, very clean and good looking little dogs. But for the most part, that community is a step away from being a damn exotic community. But uh, until next time, y'all, much love. God bless. Peace.